Example 20. State the domain and range of the following functions. Hence, sketch the graph. A. fx is equal to log x minus 1 base 3. As we know, log with negative value or log 0 is undefined. Therefore, x minus 1 must greater than 0. This gives us the domain of this function is all the real numbers greater than 1 or can be written as from 1 to positive infinity. The range for all the logarithmic function is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Logarithmic function has a vertical asymptote. Since x greater than 1, then the vertical asymptote is x equals to 1. We pick a point after x is 1, add in x equals to 2, log 2 minus 1 is equal to log 1, which is equal to 0. The graph passes through the point 2, 0. Let us sketch the graph. First of all, draw the vertical asymptote at x equals to 1. Label the vertical asymptote as x equals to 1. The graph passes through point 2, 0. We have positive x. The graph is moved to the right hand side. We have positive y. The graph is going up. The graph is traveled towards first quadrant. Draw a curve, travel towards first quadrant and passes through point two zero. Label the graph as function f. B. Find domain and range for function g, which is equal to log x minus 1 base 1 third. To take note here, the base of this function is less than 1. First of all, change base 1 third to a base greater than 1. We change the base to base 3. Do you still remember the way to change base? We write the given logarithmic function in the form of fraction, with upper part is log x minus 1 base 3, and lower part as log 1 third base 3. Now, let's simplify the lower part. Log 1 third base 3 can be written as log 3 raised to power negative 1 base 3. Log 3 raised to power negative 1 can be written as negative log 3 base 3, which is equal to negative 1. Eventually, we obtain negative log x minus 1 base 3. What's the domain? G is only defined if x minus 1 is greater than 0. This implies x greater than 1. The domain is all the real numbers greater than 1. The range is from negative infinity to positive infinity for all the logarithmic function. What's the vertical asymptote? Since x is greater than 1, the vertical asymptote is x equals to 1. We need a point to sketch the graph. Choose a value after x equals to 1. We add in x equals to 2. Log 2 minus 1 is equal to log 1 
which is equal to zero. The graph passes through the point two zero. First of all, draw the vertical asymptote. Label the vertical asymptote as x equals to 1. The graph is passes through the point 2, 0. We have positive x, means that the graph is moved to the right. At the same time, we have negative y. The graph is going downward. So, the curve is travels towards the fourth quadrant. Draw a curve, passes through to zero, and travels towards fourth quadrant. Label the curve as function g.